Okay, uh, my friend, uh, uh, I don't know his real name, but his handle is Crazy Joe, because he's crazy. Uh, he asked me what was the big difference between liberals and libertarians, um, and so I'm going to try to explain that. Uh, because I think that a lot of people think that just because the words sound alike, that there's a big, uh, well, that they're basically the same thing. And they're really not. Um, all right, the difference between liberals and libertarians. Let's uh, let's start economically. Uh, liberals are very much in favor of a lot of uh, state controls on uh, on corporations. Uh, they are against corporate monopolies, and um, they're you know they really want to limit corporate power in a lot of ways. Uh, impose um, certain restrictions on how they can uh, do business. Whereas uh, libertarians are more in favor of a, of a uh, free market, laissez-faire type system where pretty much anything goes. Um, I'm not a complete purist uh, when it comes to, uh, to that particular idea, idea. I'm more of the... I mean, I think that um, when it comes to the environment, I happen to be more along the lines of uh, the Green Party... And, um, you know, so that kind of, I, I do believe in uh, restrictions on corporations as far as the environment is concerned, which is um, contrary to the positions of most libertarians. But I don't believe in uh, corporate controls as far as, I think that, you know, a company should be uh, allowed to grow naturally. And, you know, you see it even today in real life, like uh, like when they broke up the phone company in the 1980s and, uh, you know, now you have uh, all these different phone companies or what they tried to do to Microsoft in the late 90s. If you don't like Walmart's practices, the correct course of action is not to uh, legislate a law against them, it's to boycott them. I mean, you don't need to try and uh, say, okay, well, Walmart can't uh, build a store in my town. Uh, you just need to not shop there. Uh, and you need to convince others not to shop there. That's the right course of action in that situation. That's the moral course of action. Uh, but liberals tend to want to legislate things. Uh, they don't really trust the people to to act, I guess. Um, that's uh, the big economic difference. I think on social issues, we're pretty close, but for very different reasons. Uh, liberals tend to say, well, we want to legalize gay marriage, uh, whereas libertarians say, why is there even a law regarding marriage one way or the other? It's just a social contract between two people, so, uh, you know, people should be able to enter into any kind of social contract that they want to, whether it be uh, gay marriage or polygamy or uh, gay polygamy <laughs> or, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, and a brief aside to those who say uh, that gay marriage would lead to um, people marrying animals. Uh, first of all, animals cannot enter into a contract because they're not sentient beings. Unless, of course, PETA gets its way. Um, second of all, who gives a fuck? Why do you care? If someone wants to fuck Rover, it's none of your business. Isn't that right, Hercules? Anyway... Their idea of liberty is very confined and um, a little shallow. I think that, that uh, there is, um, and, and also there seem to be limits to the freedom that they're willing to go through. I mean, I, I think that there, you know, a lot of uh, liberals are, um, you know, for the legalization of marijuana, but not the legalization of other drugs. And even some libertarians I know are, only, are not against, for the legalization of all drugs, but. To be honest, I don't even consider those people libertarians. Uh, to me, they, they belong in one of the mainstream parties. When it comes to hate speech, for instance, it seems that um, liberals are very uh, much against that. They, well, I mean, I've, I'm against it too. I'm not for hate speech. Uh, I, I think uh, racism is a pretty stupid human characteristic, even though I've been accused of it um, quite a few times myself. Um... You know, there's no reason to believe that one race is superior to the other. I mean, maybe one culture or one culture's ideas can be superior to another culture's ideas, but there's no uh, evidence of any sort of genetic 
um, superiority. And even if there was, it's not. It's obviously not so significant that it it affects one individual over another. So even if there were evidence of such, it would be you know irrelevant. But I'm getting way off topic. The point is this. Um, we believe that even if someone's ideas are unpopular, they should still be expressed, whereas uh, the liberals kind of only want freedom in their own comfort zone, which is kind of the same thing the conservatives want. It's that whole mentality where people only want, you know, what they're comfortable feeling. And people, you know, and maybe that's true of me too. Maybe I'm just comfortable in more situations than most people. So socially, very similar but not quite the same as far as reasoning goes. And you may think that's unimportant, but I disagree. I think that it's not just about the final idea. It's about the mindset behind it. Because that's where you get your consistency from. Just because we arrive at the same conclusion doesn't mean that we are both believe the same thing if our logic is different. Now, um... I mean, to prove this, I mean, it's it's like the old philosophical thing about the man who correctly guesses that, you know, Baton Rouge is the uh, capital of Louisiana, you know, just, you know, not really knowing it, but just, you know, declaring it and, you know, it turning out to be right. He doesn't truly know that. I mean, he happens to be right, but for the, you know, for the wrong reasons. And that's kind of the way I feel about liberals when it comes to um, social matters. I agree with them in their conclusions, but I disagree with all of the line of reasoning that brought them there, and uh, with the uh, lot. And, and I, I disagree that things have to be legalized or outlawed. I think that everything is, um, you know, human beings are inherently free, and we just have to decide um, the extent to which we're going to curtail that natural freedom that we're given. And uh, libertarians believe that that freedom should be curtailed as little as possible, both in the public arena and in the uh, uh, economic arena. The social arena and the uh, economic arena, rather. And, uh, well, that's the, basically the difference between us. So I hope that answered your question. Um, if it didn't, I'm really sorry. Uh, well, I'm not really sorry. You can go fuck yourself, because I wasted like 20 minutes trying to do this shit for you. So, fuck off and die.